So a really common question I get asked, why King James? Now, when we talk about this topic, it's not a question of, is this a good translation? It's a question of, what are they translating? When you read a King James Bible or a New King James Bible, the manuscripts are derived from Syria. This is what's known as Textus Receptus, or the Received Text. That was what was used to make the King James Bible. Now, New King James, the NKJV, actually has a combination of texts that are from here and ones that are derived from the Alexandrian, which is down in Egypt. Now, that's also where the entire Bibles, such as ESV, NIV, RSV, and all those versions are derived from, the Alexandrians. Now, the reason why I'm opposed to something that came from Alexandria and Egypt is because the Alexandrians did not believe in the deity of Christ. They didn't believe that he's God manifested in the flesh. So they changed their Bibles. And this is evident throughout all the different translations. If you put a King James next to a newer version, you'll immediately see the differences. Turn to Luke 4, and you'll just read the first part of the chapter. Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Now let's take a look at ESV and see what's changed. And Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness for forty days, being tempted by the devil. And he ate nothing during those days, and when they were ended, he was hungry. And the devil said unto him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. And Jesus answered him, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. What happened to, but by every word of God? It's been removed. Let's take a look at the next few verses. Starting with KJV. And the devil, taking him unto a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power I will give thee, and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and only him shalt thou serve. Now let's hop back over to ESV. And the devil took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time, and said to him, To you I will give all this authority and their glory, for it has been delivered unto me, and I give it to whom I will. If you then will worship me, it will all be yours. And Jesus answered him, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only should you serve. What happened to get thee behind me, Satan? Jesus is claiming authority over him in that verse. I think they're taking away from his authority because what they're translating here are Bibles that were written by people who did not believe Jesus Christ is God manifested in the flesh, which I'm sorry, he is. Stay tuned, viewers. There's a lot more where that came from.